Alright everyone, so for the last few years I've had one of these Bissell carpet sweeper things and um, unfortunately for the last year it's been a bit funny, the brush has been sticking and things like that but a few weeks ago the brush itself actually fell out of the bottom, the bars are bent or something so I decided I wanted a new one so I immediately went online, more specifically to Amazon.com and went to have a look for a manual floor sweeper because I decided I wanted another one of those Seeing all the prices in dollars, I figured I was on the US store, so I immediately changed over to the UK store. Upon arriving in the UK store, I found this Bissell Sturdy Sweep Floor Cleaner uh, for £12.99. It's a bestseller and it's got four and a half stars, so I thought it must be good, so I decided to go ahead and buy this. Alright, so I finally got it, so let's get it unboxed. Alright, so this is the main bit here, the bit that does all the sweeping, the important bit. And these are the poles you twist together to make the handle. Alright, so let's get this set up. Now the first task was to remove the plastic from the sweep cover itself. I found this quite fiddly. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to take these poles and we need to twist them together to form the handle. It's quite easy to twist all the pieces together, but I would be careful you don't over tighten any of them. Alright, so this is what you get when you don't read the instructions. What's happened here is this um, bar here has an end piece on that attaches to the sweeper part and it's uh, only on that one Bar, so you want to be careful you make that that one's the end not in the middle all right so now we've corrected my stupid mistake what we're going to do is we're going to twist the bar we've just created into the base this again's a bit fiddly but it's probably easier if you do it on the floor rather than our desk like I did all right so you twist this for quite a while I was quite worried while I was doing it that I was going to break it but I didn't uh, my advice is just twist it uh, until it's on there quite firmly and there we are, all done, ready to sweep as many floors as you want. Alright, so I found some dirt and I'm just going to sprinkle it on the carpet here. Obviously, bear in mind, this is a lot more than uh, the average home will have in their carpet, hopefully. Alright, so let's bring out the Bissell and see how well it does. Okay, so as you can see, it picks up most of the dirt on the first one or two passes. It's great. Um, I don't understand why I would have an electric one, really. This is, um, you know, more than sufficient. All right, so it's time to empty it. Now, underneath it, it's got these little doors that you can just pull open, uh, then hold it above a bin and just empty it out. It's quite easy. So yeah, you can see it's nice and easy to empty. Now, unfortunately, um, I had the camera mounted a bit low when I filmed this. So I've got a new tripod now, so that shouldn't be an issue. Also, you'll see it's the handle hitting the curtain in the background there, uh, knocking it open. So yeah, here I'm just giving you another look at those doors. Uh, it's an excellent unit. I've really enjoyed using it, and I'll definitely be using it in the future. I recommend you buy it. It's a great price. 100% recommend. Okay everyone, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.